Ladies and gents, fellow geeks, listen up. Your Windows laptops and PCs are about to get better as Microsoft started rolling out their latest OS, Windows 11, last October 5 to thousands of compatible PCs and laptops out there. To test these new features, our friends from ASUS Philippines sent us again the perfect device that would complement and show all the changes made from Windows 10 to Windows 11, the ROG Flow X13. What is up you guys and welcome back again to Ungeek. My name is Colin and today we are going to be taking a look at how Windows 11 is going to change your entire PC experience. And our friends from ASUS Philippines actually sent us again this very wonderful, super gorgeous tech flex of 2021, the ASUS ROG Flow X13 to check that update out. Now we've already unboxed the ASUS ROG Flow X13 and we've written our full review on it. If you're interested in seeing that, I'm going to be putting the links up here and down below so you can check that out. But this video is all about the nifty changes for Windows 11 and what we can expect from that update. So if you're interested to see that, stick around. But if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider doing so because we're making more and more videos for you guys. Simply click the subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell right beside it so you know when we come up with a new video. Now that we have that out of the way, let's go on with this. There are still a lot of questions that are raised when a new OS comes in. Will my program still work? Can I still play games? And will the interface be better? Luckily, Windows 11 seems to take off all the boxes when it comes to how a great update should be. Now, Windows 11 is a free update to Windows 10 if your device meets the system requirements. Those requirements apparently are 1 GHz or faster CPU, 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB of storage, secure boot, TPM 2.0 support, and DirectX 12 compatible graphics. Because we are using the ROG Flow X13 for this trial, it's safe to say that this device passes the requirements set by Microsoft. Just to review, here are the specs of the ROG Flow X13 once again. Not bad for a 13 incher, yeah? Another thing great about the ROG Flow X13 are the different modes that you can play around with it, especially that you can turn the screen around like so. The ROG Flow X13 is an innovative 2-in-1 13-inch gaming device where you can have multiple display modes depending on your usage. Because of the touchscreen capabilities, it's also the perfect machine to test the new highlights from the Windows 11 update. First off is the overall design. Microsoft presents a revamped user interface with Windows 11's Frosted Glass Effect UI. As you can see, the main menu bar is centered right in the middle now unlike before where the menu is on the left side. This makes the interface look a whole lot better on ultra-wide monitors and it is a better layout when you transition to mobile devices or tablet forms which the Flow X13 can definitely do. Another thing to note is the absence of the live tile windows on the start menu. It's a feature that we've seen since Windows 8 and have been refined over through Windows 10. Pinned Apps replaces this where you can customize your use apps for quick access or view all of them if you want to. This presents a cleaner start menu and we're digging how streamlined it is. The power button is also located in this window. Speaking of windows, did you notice the slightly rounder boxes along each window? Windows 11 employs a much more fluid theme than its predecessors and this can be seen in the slight design modification from the window tiles to the new revamp icons as well. The settings menu also had a facelift and searching for tools and programs are made much more intuitive. Click on the start menus, then settings and you'll see the main menu on the left side and sub menus on the right with more detailed descriptions of what you can find and do. If you do need to search for a particular program or tool, the magnifying glass icon at your home start button is there to help. Hovering over the icon and you can see your recent search history and clicking on it expands your search tools so you can look for a particular file, folder, photo, video, or program inside your laptop or PC. Next on the centered start menu are desktops that you can create and customize like changing the background and themes. Microsoft added a lot of different themes for you to choose from off the bat and you can explore more within the new revamped Microsoft Store. Microsoft wanted their own store to be a little bit easier and more intuitive to use, hence this new revamped look. Personally, it kind of reminds me of the Google Play Store which again is all about merging the PC experience and mobile experience together. There are options for gaming and entertainment apps as well, which opens a plethora of various programs you can download. Microsoft did say it's adding more and more vendors to this and they're making it easier for partners and merchants to add apps to the new Microsoft Store. I love how productivity apps are easy to get to, whether that's the whole Microsoft 365 suite or a host of Adobe products, and it's also easy to purchase them right off the bat. Also games. 
lots of games. Now, we said that the live tiles from Windows 8 and 10 are gone on the start button menu, and while that is true, if you're missing the constantly learning, content driving interface of live tiles, you can find it in the widgets section of Microsoft 11. Clicking on the widget button opens a floating window that you can customize and put pertinent quick access information like weather, headlines of news from certain segments of interest, to-do list, and so on and so forth. You can rearrange the tiles within the widgets as well, or remove certain sections if you feel you don't need them anymore. Whew, that's a lot to take in, but those changes are only half of what Windows 11 can do. The experience on Windows 11 for touchscreen devices have been optimized as well, so you get a very seamless experience regardless if you're using a tablet or a PC. And with a 2-in-1 device like the ROG Flow X13, you get to experience the full fluidity of the new OS. Touch features have been made even better with new gestures and more intuitive pop-up and floating menus. Example, when you swipe in right from the leftmost part of the screen, you bring up the custom widgets that you just made. Swiping from the left on the rightmost part of the screen brings up your other notifications and your calendar. Of course, tapping on the icons on your start menu opens up various windows and you can open up as much as you think you can fit in your screen. The Microsoft Edge browser has an interesting way of organizing various tabs and you can view your entire browser like a multi-screen. If you're using a mouse, you can hover on the minimize maximize icon on the upper right and it will show you multiple layouts that you can choose from. But if you're simply using touch, Simply click and drag the open Microsoft Edge tab to the edge of the screen to the side and it will snap and form a quadrant for you to add more windows and content for you to consume. If you want to go back to your desktop, simply double click on the edge of the screen and voila, clean screen again. Another interesting addition to note is the new virtual keyboard on Windows 11 that snaps and floats. While typing on an actual keyboard is undoubtedly better, the virtual keyboard offers the same experience as typing on a mobile device. Keys are intuitive and it also has a swipe to type feature. It also has a bunch of emojis at the ready, very similar to typing on a phone. In fact, the experience is eerily similar to that of your mobile device that Microsoft added other gestures that we're already using on our phones. One of which is a three finger swipe command. If you're used to using gesture commands on your trackpad, you can similarly use the same gesture on the surface of your touchscreen device using Windows 11. A three-finger swipe to the left or right quickly opens up the last app window that you use. A three-finger swipe up opens up task view and a swipe down lets you go back quickly to your desktop. A four-finger swipe to the left or right will open other desktops that you have. Since the ROG Flow X13 is a two-in-one device, let's talk about the new Windows 11 layout changes when you dock the unit, when you use the unit in tent mode, and when you use the unit as a tablet. As mentioned a while ago, Snap Layout allows you to create multiple window app display as your main window layout. Before Windows 11, having multiple windows like this tend to be a bit clunky when you switch from laptop mode to tablet mode or tent mode for the ROG Flow X13. The update on Windows 11, however, enables your display to stay in place and optimizes it depending on how you view your device. You don't have to readjust your window settings anymore or individually replace your tiles as you switch modes. Windows 11 will remember them. In tablet mode, the window view shifts as well depending on how you view or prop your device. Now all of this is impressive, but will it hamper my gaming? We know what you're thinking. New OS, this is probably going to bug the heck out of my games. The good news is Microsoft has come a long way since Windows 8. For games running smoothly on Windows 10, jumping on Windows 11 doesn't seem to have any ill effect. At least, not that we've seen. Windows 11 has tremendous support for DirectX 12 and Direct Storage, which theoretically should even improve your gameplay. We've tested it out with some of the games we've installed on the ROG Flow X13 from last time, and so far, everything is running A-OK. -okay. And that's it for this quick rundown on the new features of Windows 11 using the ASUS ROG Flow X13. Windows 11 is currently being rolled out to all compatible ASUS and ROG devices like this one, the ASUS ROG Flow 13. For the full list of compatible ASUS and ROG devices, I'm going to be putting the link of that down below at the description area, so check that out. Do let us know your thoughts on Windows 11. Are you going to be updating your OS when the time comes? Do let us know at the comment section down below. And with that guys, my name is Colin and I will be seeing you on the next one. Guys, please keep safe, keep healthy, and as always, keep on gaming. Bye-bye guys.